The high road is not always the most comfortable position to be in, but it's the right position to be in. And I basically govern my companies with that as a philosophy. I'm from Long Island. My father was an engineer with, uh, in the aerospace industry. Uh, my mother was a school teacher and a big fan of the Jesuits. She encouraged me to go see Georgetown. It was a wonderful place to go to school. The friends I made there were friends for life. I was sitting next to this guy and he had a name tag on and it was John, but in parentheses it was Hap Foth. And I looked at him like, who would come here freshman year and have that tag on his jacket? But we became best friends from that day forward. Georgetown has been in my life from the time I entered Healy Hall where I lived my freshman year. I think it created the framework that has guided me through my life. I went right to work at Citicorp out of Georgetown and got to look at risk from the factory floor up and from the boardroom down. That was in 87 where uh, both Hap and I, literally on the back of a napkin in a local saloon, decided to start Churchill Capital. You know, a core belief of mine is that any business that we get involved with should be a business where I can create value. There are some parts that Ultimately, unless this business will be better served with us as owners, we don't acquire that. Mary, this is a business that, assuming we go to the next step... It happened in the true sense of the word, is a classic entrepreneur. He saw an opportunity where others really didn't, and, you know, he's a risk taker, but a very calculated risk taker. Yeah, that's the... Watching people grow, coaching my management team, and basically allowing them to run on an open field. I'm having a great time as just basically partnering with them. They're the legs and, and work with me uh, in terms of direction and strategies. Big fan of Winston Churchill and I have many of his human failings. I like a cigar and a scotch occasionally. I started uh, sailboat racing when I was seven and basically have been doing it ever since. I expected him to become a, one of these relaxed businessmen who wanted to get away from the business and just kick back on a cruising boat. And that's how I met him in 2004. And wow, did things change. This is the highest level of amateur racing. It's an amateur helmsman, but most of the crew are professional sailors. And we're probably talking about two knots of current. And between each race, Hap is looking for what did we do right, what did we do wrong, you know, what do we change to get better. So he's always pushing to make the team better. If you don't bring passion to the table, you're going to always be in the middle of the pack. So being passionate about something is a prerequisite to get into the winner's circle. Hap is a winner. As much as he is a good Corinthian, if he doesn't win, he can smile, but he's not at all happy. Bellamente, and that's how I feel on the boat. You know, happy spirit, happy mind. I'd never have done any of this without my wife's 100% support. I'm very gifted that I've got kids and family that are healthy and love each other. Both here in the Twin Cities and with Georgetown, his, his time and his uh, contributions have been really extraordinary. I went back with the idea that maybe bringing some skills to the table that Georgetown could use. Hap has demonstrated a profound love for this university since the day he arrived as a freshman and then all the way through his board service, his commitment to the McDonough School of Business, watching his daughter Morgan come through here. Hap was our partner in trying to ensure that we were able to secure the resources and build the very best home for the McDonough School of Business. The Hariri Building is a testimony to Hap's depth of commitment, his engagement, and his vision. I consider Hap to be the father of Georgetown's business school. Hap takes tremendous pride in where the school has come, and we owe a lot to him. I'm delighted that the Wall Street Alliance is honoring HAP today. 
I in fact have gotten tremendous uh, enjoyment uh, out of working with Georgetown and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. He does the heavy lifting, he does the hard work, he does the asking, he doesn't just give. These kind of events allow all of us to participate in funding scholarships and that's what it's all about, it's about funding scholarships. Giving back to the university means that the Georgetown legacy will not only survive but it will thrive.